Amazing Amphros here, and I'm about to take on Aurora's first evil stepsister and child of light, Cordelia. Or a uh, Crepuscellum. The game refers to her as both names, but the important part about her is that she is by far the most difficult boss I've had to fight so far in the run. There's a lot of reasons for this. One, of course, is the typical. How underleveled I am versus the opposition is just growing as the game goes on. For two, my skill trees are almost all capped out. This is the fight that is the last fight before I can expand those skill trees. Now, I could just invest in the other trees, but not building toward my dedicated trees and finishing those trees is going to make the final boss likely impossible. So I have to just power through this. And then there's the fact that the fight itself is built to be very difficult. The boss itself can only really be hurt by physical, while her minions can only really be hurt by magic. You really need to kill the minions first, but you're, that means when you finally get there, the boss has had no progress made on it. More importantly, actually hurting these minions in a meaningful way is really difficult. Because you need to... Because you only have so much MP to work with is the point I'm trying to make here, actually. Clumsily. <laughs> it's very easy to run out of MP with Aurora and Finn, and if they're out of MP and they're still minions alive, you're pretty much done. And as you probably noticed there, any interruption to the boss results in it countering with healing. The first one's intentional because, since I haven't hurt anything yet, there's no real disadvantage to triggering the counterattacks. And I have a chance of inflicting some paralysis, which I didn't get, but, you know, you gotta be an optimist. Oh, I really wish that had targeted Tristus. Uh, and I interrupt the boss, which is terrible because it heals. Once is... it's possible to recover if it only happens once. I really can't act with Aurora here. I'm just bringing her out to heal her since I used one of the plants. And I'm going to interrupt him again, which is really not good at all. I'm in a lot of trouble now because I'm going to run out of MP. But I'm going to keep trying just for the sake of my own health. Mental health, that is. And of course he targets Aurora. Why would they ever want to hit Tristus? That would make this so much more winnable. <laughs> it 
the main thing to note here is that I can really only win if I get a good start. And I got a pretty horrible start, so right now I'm just kind of seeing what happens. And man, that was terrible execution. And just kind of hoping for some luck. can't win if I get that interrupt again, so I'm just going to go for paralysis and hope I get lucky. Or he could just act first and do that. That's pretty acceptable. Paralyze some enemies. The boss. That's a rare case of really good luck. And picking on the correct character. Okay, the big question is, how many turns do I still get? Both of my characters survived to this point. I'm just going to hope that Aurora gets an action or something. Good. One more Starlight All is all Aurora has left in her. So she's pretty much spent either way. I actually think it's best just to defend again with him. And neither of them died, and the only attack... And I only have one more magic attack left. And that's a single target one from uh, Finn. I'm just going to keep defending and hoping. Well, I have to switch him out now. He's not going to survive another round of defending. I'm stalling for the plants to come back right now. Oh, good dodge. And this is the end of my ability to attack magically. I have a plant back so I can heal Tristus up and I know this other minion must be within about a hundred of dying so if I can just peg him with Wingus and uh, Robert this is still possible to bring back That paralysis is real nice. Yeah. 
And I have another plant back, which I'm going to use to uh, get a little more health on Robert here. And I'll roll the dice on some paralysis. And I can't allow this boss to heal under any circumstance. Okay, this is the far plant, so this is executionally a little tougher not to waste anything. Oh, a couple more. I'm just going to go for it and hope for the best. No paralysis there. No paralysis there. Now Wingus is uh, in the danger zone. I really can't afford to lose him, so I'm just going to do this. Good luck to help me out. That wasn't good luck, but the really important point was lucky. Setting him back isn't as good as an interrupt, but it's still nice. And I really need some paralysis to stick here. No paralysis. Gathering strength means I haven't just lost outright, but that's going to kill a character. Okay. My luck holds out for just a little bit longer. I'm going to go for some paralysis and just hope. Paralysis, stick, please. No paralysis, and that's going to trigger a counter. Which won't kill her, but will come awfully close. He should be about ready to die, though. And that kills Wingus, but I have a plant back. And the minions are down, so... The real question is, can I get myself back in any kind of state that has a winning route in this fight? If I can get back into any kind of health, I'd pretty much win from here. That dodge is, uh, that was some luck. And not a small amount of it. Now the big offensive begins, as I try to take this boss down with physicals.
Robert really needs just a bit more health. Setback is not as good as Paralysis, but it's still good. Every time he's not attacking is excellent luck. And there's another plant that'll let me heal Robert even more. I can just feather that for a little bit of health. And now the slowdown is worn off Robert, which helps me a whole lot. These heals pretty much undo the attacks. But it's more chances for paralysis. Which I am not getting at all. That's a fair chunk of damage. And that's victory with a very good crit. I'll take a crit over a paralysis when it kills anytime. Wow, that was a ridiculous fight. And you guys didn't even see how many runs that took. Double level for Aurora, for Tristis, for Finn, for Rubella. Only one for Wingus. And a double for Robert. A tumbled diamond is my reward. And now we have the moon. If the stars gave us wings, what's the moon going to give us? Well, Aurora is now an adult. And Aurora being an adult means everyone is able to level up a lot more. So let's see just how amazing my party is about to get. Starlight All gets a big upgrade. Single Target Starlight gets a big upgrade. Aurora only has four more points she needs to finish her first tree. Rubella here. That's useless. That's not useless, though. Tumble All is now stronger. Finn. 10 more HP. And Lightning All does more damage. And he'll max out single target Lightning with one more point. Robert gets five. Rain Arrows does more damage. Two more strength. Five more HP. 10 more magic defense. And upgrading antidote will cost me another point. But this is really the prize here that I'm looking for. Tristis, of course, was not quite done with his tree. But 10 more physical defense will really help him at his job. And this is really the last thing of merit that he ever gets, so he only needs 3 more points to be done. Wingus, only one point, five more strength, good for me. And that's all everyone can do. Wait, I still have three. I guess I have a lot of guys waiting on one extra. And now I can enter the Flooded Lands, which is the first area in the uh, Sinel Sea, which is the last area in this game. I'm not actually going to go anywhere here, I just jumped in so I would have a quick jump to the flooded lands and I'd trigger some cutscenes
lowest of the high was in the sky. The lowest of the low had to be beneath the white capped waves of the Mimorian Sea. The waters of the flood continued to rise. The Duke was at death's gate. Only the rocks waited in the dark. Little time left to alter the hands of fate. What I'm actually going to do, though, is, for one, take note that I missed a chest somewhere in the Cliffs of Aaron. And for two, travel to the Temple of the Moon to get the three chests that I knew I was missing. I really wonder what chest I missed. Well, it was neither of those. And now that I picked up these three that I'd had to leave behind in the Temple of Moon without Ignacolis, I'm going to break segment. I'll be back next time when I figure out where that chest is. I'll grab it, and then I'm going to advance into the Sinel Sea. See you then.